What is going on guys? Real Touch Gmail here and today I am back with another Java tutorial and today we are going to be doing something a little bit different and that is we are going to be working with uh, array lists or linked lists uh, and I'll show you why we use them now and it's going to be very important later on. So alright if we went ahead and played our game here as you can see we have our enemy and you can move around him. But now say you wanted to add a new enemy. Couldn't you just do E equals new enemy and give it new coordinates so we'll just say this 100 by 100 and then play it yeah that didn't work because it's not that simple uh, it's actually taking your first coordinates and then once you make e t equal to another enemy it's just going to switch that the coordinates to the 100 100 so you're probably thinking to yourself hmm well maybe I could do this e2 and I could say e2 equals new enemy 100 by 100 and e2.draw g2d and e2.update would that work? and it does work yep uh, now this would be good for a small little game that is not going to have you know anything in it uh, basically you could have this for just really I don't really see maybe a pong pong game you wouldn't have to use uh, linked lists or array lists but say you wanted a platformer game and you wanted blocks and every block you wanted a ton of blocks in the room and then you'd have hundreds upon thousands of uh, uh, block one block two block three block four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve tons of them and just this would just be washed out with all these blocks uh, drawing and updating so basically an array list takes the block and it portrays a bunch of them within its array list so we take uh, we take uh, let's see I'm trying to explain it here it's just like an array you take it's one variable and with that you could have multiple uh, different uh, you know values to it and that's what we do instead of you know numbers we do it with objects so you want to erase that there so that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new class and call it controller. And right off the bat, we're actually going to make the array list or linked list. Now, <clears throat> in the description, I will go ahead and put down a link showing you the difference between linked list and array list. Now, there, are, there is some differences, uh, but I do like linked list a lot better than array list, and it causes less lag. So I would, I would, I would go with the link list but if you want to read it over you can and if you decide to do array list because of your game then uh, go ahead and do that so I'm just gonna say linked list and then I'm gonna say enemy and now we're gonna have to name it so e that's just like saying uh, int x you know you wouldn't just put x you'd have to put the integer in front of it and we're gonna say equals new linked list enemy again and close that off with parentheses uh, and have the parameters empty so we can go ahead and import the link list and the enemy. And if you wanted array list, you would just put array list instead of link list here. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say public void draw graphics 2D G2D. And this is going to draw all of our enemies. So we're going to go ahead and before that, we're actually going to say enemy temp enemy. There we go. And this is just like saying from our game class enemy E. Uh, this is just enemy temp enemy. So we're going to say temp, or I'm sorry, we're going to make a for loop real quick. And this for loop is going to draw, uh, it's going to check how many are, are actually made, and then it's going to draw that set number. So we're going to create int i equals 0. If i is less than uh, e dot size, i plus plus. Go ahead and put brackets there, and this is again just going to loop through uh, e dot size how many uh, of these linked lists that we are actually have. So we're going to say temp enemy equals e dot get i. Okay, and that's like saying uh, temp enemy equals new enemy get the coordinates, so on and so forth. So now we're going to say temp enemy dot draw g two d that's all we really have to do <clears throat> and now we're actually going to do the same thing with the updating so public void 
update. And we're going to make for loop basically the same thing here. I is less than uh, e dot size. I plus plus. And temp enemy uh, equals e dot get i. Temp enemy dot update. There we go. So that is very simple. Uh, and well, it, it should be simple. And I'm going to go ahead and erase enemy here and actually add controller. C. And instead of actually drawing our enemy out, we're going to draw. So C equals new controller. We're actually going to draw out the controller. Because remember, we created that, that draw class, which is going to draw all of our enemies here and C dot update <clears throat> so if we went in and played the game obviously there would be no enemies now and that's because we actually have to make, create a custom method in order to create the enemy so we're going to say public void um, add enemy make it simple and I'm gonna, in the parameters we're going to create a new enemy uh, object here and we're just going to have the variable name enemy and now all we have to do is e dot add enemy and the enemy would be right here. So when we call this, it's going to look for parameters. Uh, and when we equal that to a new enemy, it's going to actually add it. And we could do public void remove enemy, 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 uh, e dot remove. Just the same process there. And finally, at the end, this is how we're going to actually look for collision detection. We're actually going to do that next tutorial, though. So that's all we really have to do though so now we can create a constructor so let me go ahead and do that public uh, controller and all we have to do is say add enemy new enemy 100 100 there we go and if we play it now as you can see there actually is an enemy at 100 100 now you may say alright that's pretty awesome right but now look at this. Look at how simple it is to now add. Uh, and then we could do 200, 300, 400, 50, 20, 70. Now look how easy that is. That is a lot simpler than having to create how many enemies do we have here? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We would have to make E1, E2, E3, E4, and then update all of them within our draw and our update. And now this, simple as ever, you have as many as you want, uh, and um, you can add as many more as you want. Uh, it's unlimited. So just a little tip here, something we can do is we can say in the update, if temp enemy dot x is less than 100, um, we could say remove enemy temp enemy. And I will say 20. Now check this out. Boop, 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 boop. All gone. That is pretty sick. So go and leave a like, go and subscribe. Uh, and I guess I will see you guys next time with collisions, but that will be the end of our beginner, uh, my beginner series here. And we're going to go into making an actual platforming game where you can jump and all this stuff. There, I can actually, I'll go ahead and show you a quick little sample here. This kind of game. So go and leave a like, go and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.